Welcome to Picture Healer channel. In this video, we will look at the best water location in period 8 and period 9. We talk about the best direction to set up a water feature according to the yearly flying star chart. And today we will look at the best water feature location for period 8 and period 9. Right now we are in period 8 which is from 2004 to 2023. And starting in 2024, it will be Feng Shui period 9, and it will last for 20 years. So we are at the end of period 8. That's why I want to look at both period 8 and period 9. And remember, this is only for reference. You can combine with yearly chart, and if you know your house chart, or your own personal life gua chart, Together, you will have a better idea of the best location for a water feature. So first, we have to look at the Bagua chart. This is the later heaven Bagua, and that's the Bagua we use most of the time for flying star feng shui. Each direction has a corresponding trigram and also a related number. And this is the traditional Chinese map, so the south is on the top and north in the bottom. So the number 9 is on the top and number 1 is on the bottom. The basic idea is very simple. If it's period 8, the number 8 direction is the most auspicious. And this is the best direction to let the qi come in. For example, if this is a main entrance or a big window, the good energy can come in from this direction. And based on the Bagua, the number 8 direction is northeast. And the opposite of this direction is the best direction for a water feature. So you will be southwest, the Quen direction, during the period 8. The reason is that good qi coming from the lucky direction, and we try to let it stay, and the water can slow down the qi and accumulate the good energy. So in theory, during period 8, the general best water location is southwest. If you have beautiful water view in this direction during period 8, you should have a lot of financial luck and overall prosperity. The natural water is always the most powerful. If in this direction there is a lake or a river, it's very auspicious. Or you can create a water feature by setting up a fish tank indoor or outdoor. You can set up a swimming pool or a little fish pond. That can help bring in good fortune and wealth luck. And there's a secondary lucky water location. For this one, we can look at the He Tu. And this is the chart. We call it He Tu in Chinese. And you can see they are pairing numbers. On the top, we have 2 and 7. On the bottom is 1 and 6. The left side, we have 3 and 8. The right side, 4 and 9. And the center is 5 and 10. So each direction has two numbers. One is the yin number and one is the yang number. So it's one odd and one even number and each of the pair also related to one of the five elements. The 2-7 belongs to fire, the 1-6 belongs to water, 3-8 belongs to wood, and 4 and 9 belong to metal. And in the center, 5 and 10 belongs to the earth. So those two numbers are like a pair and uh, helping each other. So one number is beneficial to the other. So for period 8, we can look at the number 8. And the helpful number is number 3. Both 3 and 8 numbers belong to wood element. So we are going back to the later heaven bagua chart and check out the number 3. The number 3 belongs to the east. So east is our secondary lucky water location. If you cannot place water in the southwest, you can set up water in the east during period 8. So now we know generally in period 8, southwest is the best location for water, 
and the east is the second best location. If we look the other way, the direction opposite to that will be the worst place for water feature. So in period eight, try not to set up water in the northeast or the west because water in those direction can slow down your good energy or the lucky qi flow. So that's the two lucky and unlucky direction for period eight. And we use the same theory for period nine, which is starting in 2024. Since it's only two years away, you can start to feel the feng shui power for period nine. So we can even start setting up the period nine feng shui. So we go back to the later heaven ba gua chart. The number nine is li gua, and it belongs to the south. So that's on the top of the traditional Chinese map. So the south will be a very lucky direction. It's good to have an entrance, a big window, or any type of the qi circulation. So we don't want to set up water here. We want the water opposite to that the Khan direction. So in period nine, the best water location is the north. So when the lucky energy coming from south, it can accumulate and stay longer in the north. And let's find out the secondary lucky direction based on the her two chart. The number nine pair up with number four. So four and nine help each other and increase the power for each other. So we are going to look at number four. And according to the later heaven ba gua, number four is in the southeast, the shun gua. So the southeast will be the secondary lucky water direction. If you cannot place the water feature in the north during period nine, you can place it in the southeast. And again, it can be either indoor or outdoor. And the worst location for water feature during period nine will be the south because we want the good energy to flow in from the south. And the second worst direction for water feature for period nine is uh, northwest. That's the Qian direction because that's opposite to Shun, the southeast direction. So now we know in general for period nine, the number one lucky water direction is the north. And try to avoid water feature in the south and also northwest. So that's a very general reference for the 20 years in period eight and the 20 years in period nine. You can look at the world map or a map of a country. In period eight, if there is natural water, in the southwest direction, the whole country is very lucky and can be prosperous. And the same idea for period nine, if there is water in the north, those areas or cities near the north water can be very prosperous and very lucky. You can apply the same idea to as big as a country or even the whole world or as small as one room or one desk. And again, this is only for reference because each period has 20 years. So the luck will always go up and down and each year will be different and each person will be different. But in general, if the water is beautiful, it brings better luck than the water that's polluted or in a strange shape. If you cannot change the location of the water, Maybe you can clean it up so it look nice or block the view from the window with a curtain. And for the lucky directions, it's easy to just set up an aquarium or a fountain. Thank you so much for watching today and see you next time.